Hey everyone, this is Sean Smith with Animal. I am here to show you three ways you can use your animal protein to create some bodybuilding meals. First meal um, is actually my breakfast meal. I make this the night before. These are overnight oats. So I'll take my oats, I'll put them in a bowl, just dry oats. I'll take, um, I use three scoops of animal whey and I'll just put it in the bowl with the oats. I'll put some water in there, mix it up. I'll throw it in the fridge. Overnight, the um, oats get partially digested. Uh, they become soft and really easy to eat. I'll usually throw in some almonds here. So I'll have my protein, uh, my fats, and my carbs, and I'll also add some Ceylon cinnamon, make sure it's Ceylon cinnamon, and that helps with glucose metabolism. Um, so that's my breakfast. Um, another idea that you could use um, for your whey protein is to make it into almost a pudding like consistency. So you put a little bit of whey protein uh, in a bowl or something and add just a little bit of water at a time and stir it up until it gets kind of thick. And what you could do is you could take rice cakes and you can cover them in, this is almond butter, you could use like a natural peanut butter and you can either dip it in here or you could just kind of pour it on top and uh, you know, it's a pretty, pretty tasty snack right there. Again, you have your protein, your fats, and your carbs. If you were to do the whey protein and the rice cake by itself, uh, it would probably be really fast digesting. Um, so that would probably be better like post-workout when you need some uh, glucose really quick. Otherwise, throw the nut butter on there and that slows the digestion down, uh, controls your blood sugar levels a little bit more, and you can eat it uh, kind of at any time during the day. Um, another post-workout idea, a lot of people do cream of rice and I don't like cream of rice because you have to fiddle with the right ratios and water and the microwave time and if you cook it too much then it turns into concrete. Uh, if you don't cook it enough then it just like settles at the bottom and then when you're done cooking it it's like molten lava and you have to wait like 10 minutes for it to cool down. This stuff right here is so much easier. You just pour it in a bowl, put your whey protein in there, mix it up with water, and you can eat it. I'll usually throw in some frozen bananas or some frozen blueberries, and that's really good to eat post-workout.